Hi there everyone, welcome to Tech Cravers. The 3DS is one of my favorite handhelds of all time. I have owned quite a few over the years and I just recently found this absolute beauty or actually two of them on second hand and I just had to buy them. Now Nintendo have, as you might have heard, decided to close their 3DS eShop in March 2023 and this will cause many problems for anyone owning a 3DS. Luckily there are ways to tackle these problems and that is to hack your 3DS to be able to install homebrews and games or ROMs that you have dumped. Nintendo keeps shooting out updates to get rid of hacked 3DSs and they just recently did, but in this guide I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to hack your 3DS in 2022. And you should know that this guide might feel a bit overwhelming at first, but it's actually very easy as long as you follow my steps, so without further delay, let's jump into it. The first thing you should do before doing anything else is to make sure that you have a micro SD card. It needs to be formatted in FAT32 and I'm gonna show you how to do that later. I have a 128GB card but you can have a smaller size as well should you want that. You shouldn't go bigger however since it's been known to cause problems. You also need a screwdriver to be able to access the micro SD slot underneath this plastic. Other than that you obviously need the 3DS or 2DS console. I have the new 3DS XL SNES limited edition as you can see here. Once you have all that, you need to make sure that you are on the latest firmware. As of today, in September 2022, the latest firmware is something like 11.16.0 as you can see here. I have the European version and that's what the E stands for. Your firmware might have a U or something as well, but the procedure should be the same. Now a fair warning, Nintendo might update the firmware again in the future and the ways to hack your 3DS might change. So before updating your firmware, if you're watching this from the future, make sure to check whether the information in this guide is correct. I obviously can't be responsible if you happen to brick your device. And with that said, go ahead and update your 3DS to the latest firmware if you're not on 11.16. Once that is complete, we want to grab our 3DS friend code before we head over to our PC. So go into the friends list and tap on your me avatar. Write down the friend code that you have on your device as we will need it in a later step in this guide. Now we need to power off our 3DS before we remove the SD card. Flip your device over and grab the screwdriver. Loose the two screws and remove the stylus if you haven't already. After that you can grab the sides of the plate to remove it from the back. Get the SD card out and as you can see I have my 128GB card here already but you probably have another card. Remove whatever card you have inserted to your 3DS and insert the SD card you plan to use into your computer. Using an app called FAT32 Format, you will now need to format your desired SD card. I will leave a link to the app in the video description. Now this is important. After you have done that, eject your SD card from your PC, put it back into your 3DS and power it up. Power it off again and put the SD card back into your computer. By doing this, we have created a necessary folder structure on the micro SD card. So now that we have our SD card prepared, we're going to follow the steps of the 3DS Hacks Guide. So hit the link to their site in the video description. And here we're just scrolling down to the starter link, so tap get started. Scroll down to the section where they recommend a hack solution depending on your firmware. And since we have updated to 11.16, we're clicking Seed Miner. We have already made the prep work here, so scroll down to section 2 and click Brute Force Movable. Now, do you remember we wrote down the 3DS friend code earlier? First off, paste your friend code here. And then we need to get our 3DS ID. And all we have to do to find that is to go to the root of our SD card and open the folder named Nintendo 3DS. Inside that folder we have another folder and the name of that folder is actually our ID or ID0. And if you, like me, happen to have a folder named private as well, you can just delete it. So now copy this name and paste it onto the website and click on go. And once you see this red message, start up your 3DS and head back into your friends list there and add the friend code you see on your PC screen. This friend code is different for everyone doing this, so make sure you add the friend code on your screen and not mine. You might or might not be prompted to name your new friend, so if you're prompted with that, just name it whatever you want. And once you have done all that, you have to wait between 2 and 5 minutes and the website on your PC will continue. I have sped up the process here. Once done, click on download movable.sed and then hit back on your browser to get back to the guide. 
Scroll down to the next step, which is to install Boot9 Strap. Scroll down some more until you get to the What You Need section and start downloading everything you see there except for the movable.sed file that we have already acquired in the step before. The safe B9S installer and the boot 9 strap installer are direct downloads, but the Luma 3DS files is a zip archive, so choose that from the list. Now just as it says in the guide, if your 3DS for some reason is powered on, start by turn it off, and then click the unsafe mode exploit injector link on the website. And from that page, select the movable.sed file from wherever you chose to download it before on your computer. And when you have chosen your file, start the process by clicking build and download. Now that we have done that, we are going to build some folder structure on our SD card. And I'm gonna take this slow and easy, so make sure to follow my every step and you'll be just fine. I like to start by having the root of my SD card to the left here and my downloads in a window to the right as you can see. Start off by extracting all of the zip archived files that we have downloaded one at a time and after you have done that you can just delete the zip archives to keep it clean. Now go to the root of your SD card and create a new folder with the name boot9strap. Just as I have done here. Open it up and then go to the boot9strap folder that we have downloaded. Copy the two files from there into the folder we just created. Get back to the root of your SD card and go into your Luma downloaded folder and copy the two files from there directly to your root on your SD card. Next, go inside the safe b9s installer folder and copy the safe b9s installer.bin file to the root as well. Lastly, go to the last downloaded folder named unsafe mode and copy the usm.bin file to your SD card's root as well. Then open your Nintendo 3DS folder, open your ID0 folder and then open the next folder called ID1. Here you should create a new folder named Nintendo DSiWare, exactly as I have done here, mind the spelling, and then open that folder and copy the other file from the folder to your right. Once you have done all that, you are done with the PC for now. So eject the SD card and put it back into your 3DS and boot it up. Go to System Settings, click on Data Management, DSWare and then on Micro SD. You will get a menu on the top screen, select Inject Hacks and hit A. It will say Unsafe Mode Installed and your 3DS will turn off. Now to continue the hacking process we need to use a combination of buttons to access the recovery mode of the 3DS. So press right trigger, left trigger, D-pad up and A while powering on your device and keep holding the buttons until you get a message about updating your 3DS system. Once the message appears you want to click OK. I accept. OK. And then wait for a few seconds until you get an error code. This is supposed to happen, so once you get it, hit OK, then tap on Set. Then choose Connection 1 and Change Settings. Once you get to this page, hit the yellow arrow to the right and tap on Proxy Settings. And last but not least, click on Detailed Setup. And once you do that, your screen will flicker in funky colors and then you'll end up in the safe B9S installer. It will start by itself, but after a few seconds, you need to enter the button combination on the upper screen to continue the installation. Once it's all done, it's gonna say SIG Hacks Firm Install Success. So press A to get back to the menu and hit Start to get back to your 3DS menu. Congratulations, you have now successfully installed the custom firmware onto your 3DS. But we're not quite ready yet. We have a few apps we need to install to fully use our new jailbroken 3DS. And we also need to restore our Wi-Fi configurations. So once we get back to the 3DS menu, hit System Settings. Then go into Data Management. 
DSWare and then microSD, just as before. And this time choose the second option in the menu, Restore Slots. And once you have done that, your system will once again reboot. Once your system has started up again, power it off again, eject your SD card and put it back in your computer as we need to fill it with some apps. Back on your computer, open the SD card and go into the Nintendo 3DS folder, ID0 and ID1 folder and then into the Nintendo DS Ware folder that we created before and delete the file that you find in here. Head back to the guide in our browser. If you're still on the unsafe mode exploit injector, hit back so you get to this page. And once here, scroll down to the last link in the guide that says finalizing setup and click it. Here you'll get a brief explanation on what all the apps we're about to install can do. Read up on those if you want to and then scroll down to the downloads section. Here, start downloading all the files in the What You Need section. Start with Anemonia 3DS and download the CIA file. Then keep downloading all the CIA files that you need. Notice that the FBI app needs both a CIA file and a 3DSX file. And the last app, called God Mode 9, is a zip archive. Once you have downloaded all the files, let's do like before and put our SD card to the left and the downloads folder to the right. Start off by extracting the God Mode 9 zip archive and then delete the zip file to keep it clean. Now create a new folder in the root of your SD card. You can name it whatever you want, but I like to name it CIAs or CIAS since this is the folder where we're gonna stash our newly downloaded CIA files. So open it and drag all the CIA files from your downloads folder on your computer to the folder we just created on the SD card. Go back and create a new folder that you name 3ds and inside this folder we put the fbi.3dsx file from the downloads folder. Go back to the root again and this time head into the Luma folder. Inside, create a new folder that you name Payloads. Open the folder you just created and then head into the God Mode folder in your Downloads section. And here you want to drag the God Mode9.firm file into the folder we just created on the SD card. Once that is complete, there is only one more thing we need to do here, I promise. Head back to the root and then drag the whole GM9 folder on your right to the root of your SD card. And now you're finally done, so eject your micro SD and put it back into your 3DS and start it up. Back on your 3DS, open the Download Play app. Once there, it's time for another awkward button combination again. But this time it's a little simpler. Press the left trigger button, D-pad down, plus select to access the Rosalina menu. Choose miscellaneous options, then switch the HP title to current app until it says operation succeeded. Back out to the download play app and hit the home button. Close download and play and start up download and play again. Finally, a sign that we're on a hacked 3DS, that familiar homebrew launcher. Once here, press the left trigger, D-pad down and select once again and choose miscellaneous options. Then scroll down to dump DSP firmware. Once complete, hit B to back out and choose Nullify User Time Offset. Once that is done, back out all the way to the homebrew launcher and tap on FBI. From this menu, choose SD and then scroll down to our CIA's folder that we created before. Click on Current Directory 
and then install and delete all CIAs. This will save up some space by deleting your CIAs after installation is complete. Once the CIAs have been installed, hit the home button and you'll notice that you have some new presents on your home screen to open up. Now before I let you go, there is one last thing I want to show you how to do. And that is to back up your NAND or basically your whole system so that you can use that NAND if you should end up breaking your 3DS in any way. So to do that, start by turning off your 3DS. Then click and hold start at the same time as you power on the 3DS. And as you can see, you are now booting straight into God Mode 9. You are prompted these few messages at the start, just hit A to create essential backup files and then A again to confirm the place for the backup. Once in the menu, press your home button to get another menu, choose scripts and then GM9 Megascript. Then scroll down to scripts from Playlects guide and choose setup Luma 3DS to CTR NAND. Hit yes to confirm and then hit A again to unlock right access to your sys NAND. Type in the keys shown on your screen one at a time until it says Luma 3DS copied successfully. Hit A to go back and then choose clean up SD card from the list. It will say SD card now squeaky clean from setup files, back out and choose backup options. Select SysNand backup and it will ask you to make sure you have enough space on your SD card. Hit A to start the backup process and this will take a lot of time so go grab a coffee or something and I'll see you when it's done. Once complete, back out all the way back to the first menu. In the top screen, scroll down to SysNand Virtual and then click on Essential.exefs and then on the lower screen, select the last option in the list. Choose to overwrite files, then click A to continue. Click your home button and power off your device. Take out your SD card and put it back into your PC for one last thing. And that is simply to store our newly created SysNand backup so that we can always reach it in case of emergency. First go into your Luma folder and copy the folder backups to a safe place on your computer. I'm creating a folder on my desktop just for the sake of this guide. Once that is complete, head back to the root folder of your SD card and open the GM9 folder. Here, open the out folder and copy all the files from there into the same backup folder on your computer. This will take a while, but once that is complete, you can delete the files with long names to save up some of that precious space, but remember to keep the essentials file on there. And now you're done with everything, so pop out the micro SD card from your computer and put it back into your 3DS. And you know what? We're actually done. We have successfully jailbreaked or hacked our new 3DS or 2DS device that has original firmware 11.16 installed. We have installed a bunch of apps that will help us take advantage of the new homebrew features and we have backupped our device if something would happen to it. I really hope that this guide helped you out and that you enjoyed watching it. If it did, please let me know by giving it a like. You can also comment if there's anything special you want to learn how to do with a custom firmware 3DS. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.